Hi guys, uh, my name's Michael. I am wanting to talk to you today about why I'm using Google Classroom as opposed to other programs like Schoology, which I've used quite a bit and loved it last year or this year, um, but I've moved away from that now. Um, I gave Edmodo a try, didn't really like that, I found, it, found that too limiting. But I am now settling at the moment on Google Classroom. And the reason for that is because it is so good in how it integrates with Google Drive or Google Docs. But what I do want to focus on with this video is um, my specific um, way that I'm managing my workflow with Google Classroom. Um, the way I'm structuring my folders my Google Drive folders with and integrating that with Classroom. Um, and I think this particular method that I'm using is a great way to ultimately save time, which is what really teachers want to do. We want to save time. We don't want to be lumbered with the technology. If you haven't heard of Google Classroom or you don't really know anything about it, we'll go to a quick video on just a basic overview of Google Classroom first that I didn't make and then we will and then I'll discuss my workflow so let's go to that my Google Classroom homepage. Um, as you can see it's got all my classes here. Let's have a look in one. Okay, This is my Year 12 IT class, or one of them. I've got a stream uh, of announcements and assignments here. I've got a list of the students and I've got uh, an about page which I'll show you more in a minute. So, students have an assignment and this is it here I've posted this to them every student has been given access to this file which is a Google Doc I set it up so that students can have this file and they can edit this file and when they're finished with it they can then submit the, the finished workbook so when I click on that I can see who submitted it and who hasn't submitted it yet the way that looks on my Google Drive is, this is my Google Drive, um, Classroom automatically creates a folder called Classroom in your Google Drive. And you can see every Google Classroom is in there. So let's go to that class. This is the summary book, that the assignment that we just looked at. If I open that up, it has everyone's 
work. So I can click on one of the student's work and it will open it up and I can suggest uh, improvements to his work and so on and communicate that way, giving him immediate feedback, which is what we want these days. Quick, immediate feedback. Now, the way I structure my drive is um, pretty, I think, critical. So looking at back to classroom, if I click on the about page, you can see here I've created a few permanent links. I've got a folder called class materials for students, so that's where all the folders and all the files that they might need are located there. Uh, a, cl a calendar and a forum. So let's look at the materials. If I click on that, what the students will see is something like this. They'll see folders and files. This is basically linked to my Google Drive folder that I've shared with them. So they can go into the folder, they can click on the folders and they can see the relevant things they need. I can open that in Drive as well, or they can as well. And that's it in Google Drive. So, so in my Google Drive, I've got the folder that um, Google Classroom gives me, which has got all my Google Classrooms in there, and um, the assignments. So there's all my students' assignments. So finally, just a quick word on my folder structure in, in um, Google Drive. So as I said, we've got the classroom folder. I've got a separate folder for my stuff. And I've also got a folder which has all my classes in it for next year. So, and in each subject, so for IT apps, for example, I've got two folders. One is the class materials, and that's the one that I shared with the class before that I showed you on Google Classroom. The other one is my teacher resources folder. I keep them separate because some things I don't want to share with them. So for example, the template for that summary book that they all have a copy of, they are here. If I were to um, give the students access to the templates then they might accidentally go and get a copy of the template and not use the one that I sent them via classroom. I hope that makes sense but yeah it's very important that you have those separate, separated anyway. So that's how I've done it. Yep, so for each class, a class materials folder that the students have access to and then a separate folder for my resources that I may share with them at a later date. I might transfer from here into here. That's basically it. Hopefully you found something in there useful. If not, um, you can put a comment below and I may hopefully uh, answer that for you. Um, if you're a teacher at my school, you can come and have a chat to me and I'll show you things. Or, yeah.